Okay, right. Barry Collier has mentioned in reference to the climate control that with Leaf Manager from the Play Store, Google Play, um, you can actually set the climate on as a timer for climate control. Um, so I'm going to try that now. It's 2.33, 19th of October. So what I shall do is I shall say... Presumably 19th, press OK. I'm going to say put it on for 45. So I'll put it on for 45 and then I'll see if it works. 245. Now he's saying he's tested it, it doesn't need to be plugged in to work, which is pretty cool. So I should try that. It does say up here unknown error, unknown host exception, whatever that means. Um, so I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, I shall try and find out. It's sort of scanning across as though it's loading, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I shall double check that, see if I can get it to work. Okay, so what happened there was it wasn't connected to the internet. <laughs> uh, so let me, uh, oopsie daisy, let's go to the 19th of October, which is today. It's now almost quarter two, so I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to put it to, let's say, ten past three, shall we? Plenty of time. There we are, ten past three today. And then it goes off and sets it. Setting climate control timer. Let's see up here. And let's have another look. Let's see if that's going to do it. Wait, hopefully eventually that will just, there we are, reading data from the server, but you want me to pop up and say on the right, there we go, today at 10 past 3, it's set for, so we'll see what happens in regard to that. Um, I'll let you know, quarter two, so another 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, I'll have an answer. Okay, it's now two minutes to three. Um, and it's not on yet, so it doesn't come on 15 minutes early before departure, so perhaps it will come on at exactly 10 past 3. Unlike um, the other climate control, which comes on about 15 minutes earlier to your departure targets. So if you set it with the car wings from Nissan's website, or the, yeah, from in the car or Nissan's website, it comes on 15 minutes before your departure time. I'm using Leaf Manager, which isn't a Nissan app, it's made by a third party, so I'm assuming that it works for one, and secondly, that the time that you set is the time it actually comes on. It's not 15 minutes prior to your departure time. We shall see. Okay, 10 past, and look what's flashing away. Pretty cool. So, as you can hear, it's on and the cable isn't plugged in um, so the from the Android store it works it comes on at the time you say the time is not prior to it but the exact time that you set so there you go third-party application will if you want it to come on the climate control without being plugged in use the third-party app that way um, you can make make use of that. So that's what I should do probably. I'll set up a schedule from within that app and let's go and have a little look now to see if you can set up multiple dates and times and all sorts. We'll have a little explore. Because I've never ever really used that app. But there we go, let's test it out. Okay, so here we are. Let's have a little look. So set timer. Yeah, so you can only have one day I think, let's just choose it to tomorrow and say OK and then set it to the morning more or less the time that I leave which would probably be well, it would be nice and warm if I set it for 8.30 because it'd be, so let's say that off it goes to the data centre trying to set it I presume Oh, it does not want to change. Setting to climate control. 
timer and then what should happen reading data should change here tomorrow look at 8 30. started at 5 10 so it's on now so this is it splits into two sections i could turn it off now presumably and that would still stay on current climate control timer now now set to that so interesting uh, if i can set the timer to to work in a block I can't help but think this is working in a weak format. Black is the day. If you pick it in the middle there, black is the day, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it sets it for one time for part of the day. Um, whether in the pro version. Um, don't know. But put it this way, you can set it once here and it will be the time that you set it for that it will come on. So there you go, I'm going to leave that on for tomorrow. I'm going to turn the climate control off for today because um, there's no point in having that on. And there you go. So if you want to use that functionality, you can using this app to look for that logo and it's called Leaf Manager from the Play Store. Uh, and you'll be good to go. Bye. Got a bit of a noise going on here. What do you reckon it is? Is it a leaf? In a leaf? A leaf in a leaf, do you reckon? Can't see. Can't see anything there, I can't get in there. It's a noise anyway. It's stuck in that grill. Yeah, it's got stuck in that grill. In there. Can hear it, can't see it though. Oh well, it'll have to deteriorate, won't it? The leaf have to slowly fall apart. Not this leaf, the leaf in the leaf have to fall apart. So this is before it's obviously 8.28, it's not 8.30 in the morning and it's not consuming any power at the moment. Obviously, what I want to find out is when it does come on, is it even though the car isn't charging, is it going to start drawing power through the charging unit? Um, we shall see. Well, through the cable from the house. Uh, we'll find out because if that goes up to about three kilowatts or something like that, we'll know that it's definitely working. So off the power of the house. And there we go. 3.14. So it does come off the house power. Okay, this morning I'm supposed to be getting my meter fitted between 8 o'clock and 1 o'clock. The time now is 11.59. I've been sat here working away on my computer. Um, got one hour left until I could possibly go over the scheduled time. So should be getting my meter fitted. The Economy 7 one I talked about in a previous episode. Ecotricity, switching over to Ecotricity from N-Power. Switch has already happened. They've come, and they, well they're supposed to be coming to fit a meter. So we shall see how this pans out, but it's today. Um, I've got the morning here at home, especially. Um, 60 minutes left. Uh, I've weaned in eight, nine, ten, eleven, about four hours. It'll be five hours wait, and there's only 60 minutes left of that. So we shall see what happens. Okay, and 15 minutes later, there's Eon, which turned up Smart Metering Solutions. Oh, knock on the door. In the video of the old meter coming out. We're in the video, obviously. Electric car. So, the job is supposed to take approximately 30 minutes. And you need to be prepared that you're going to lose power in your house for that time. Um, so, there's no internet browsing. There's no uploading videos or talking about leafs online. Um, no TV watching. Um, so yeah, you sit around like I'm doing now. I feel lost without my iPhone um, being able to connect to the internet. But anyway, 30 minutes downtime whilst it's been fitted. Um, it took him about a minute to remove the old one. So he's just installing the new one, does a couple of tests, and then it should all be done. So I shall show you what it looks like when it's complete. Right, let's have a look. Oh, hello. There is the smart meter. Very good. 
multi-rate meter. Hmm. Okay, that's all that's changed. There's a little smaller meter in there. All good, all good. Apparently the off-peak time is 12.30 to 7.30 my time in this area. So uh, I'm going to have to charge my car between that time. I shall put the schedule on to charge at that period of time and uh, let the money saving begin. That. Now then, shall we set the timer? <laughs> yeah. Let's boom, boom, lights on. Set the timer. Yeah. Now we've got a new meter fitted to the house, so we need to set up when it starts charging. So we want it to start charging, edit schedule. So it was, I've done this before in a previous episode, but it was the zero emissions. No, it was a million minutes. And then charging timer, edit schedule, on, and then we say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to 100%. And we start it at my birthday. No, we don't start on your birthday. We start it at on my birthday. Boys, started at one a.m. and it doesn't end, so we just say save. It doesn't because it goes to my birthday. <laughs> so there we go. So that's okay. That schedule is now saved. It'll come on at one a.m. every single day once it's plugged in. So we have to start there we go. Bye. Oh, now hold on. There we go. 100% charge. 1 a.m. There we go. Right, so we're out and about. 6%. And we got a long climb home to do. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah. Amy's Not a bit worried. scared now. We are. I was quite happy until oh. you said that. It's really late. It's real late. It's, it's 10 to now. 12. Yeah. 6% now. So, Should I ring them up? No, I'll be fine. Can we get back home? You sure? Probably. <laughs> <I'll tell> you, <laughs> we're pushing it though. This could be the. Uh, this could be. No, don't say uh, it. No, this could be the <laughs> time we don't make it back. We shall see. We're quite away from home. I don't know how far we are. Probably five miles. And it's your birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Anyway, drive anyway it's, it's a long. Well, we lost all the readings now. Uh, it's a <laughs> it's a long way uphill. We've got a long uphill. So let's see how we get on. Coming into Nittledean now. We're making our way up the old steep, long, winding hill, which is probably about two miles. Um, going as slow as we can. Hey, hey, Amy. Oh dear. <laughs> the journey. Great. So I'm just trying to keep the power down. I'm feeling uh, hopeful. I think we're going to get there. Oh, that's, you just nudge me there. There we go. Got the focus back. And then we go up here. So we're still going uphill. Yeah, and go then, on. oh, what have we got now? Come on, just stop Motor power going. limited. So now we're on limited power. So now we're going to see if we can get up this hill. It'll be the yeah, first time ever know. I've got so yeah. far. All right. Oh. So we're going up the hill now. Yeah, a max roll. Is that all we got? Yep. Come on. Up you go. So leave it by Lizzie's house. Up you go. It's Lizzie's house here. We just need to get the top of the An interesting thing here. is um, the bubbles on the right hand side do lose their outer thing. Someone mentioned that today. They lose the outer thing on the right hand side, there's no double lines around the outer oh, circles now. <laughs> so, uh... Okay, here we are. Conked out in the lay-by. Can't really see. But we are, let me say, half a mile from home, more or less. And there's the car. Conked out. And a phone call's gone into the leaf. There's, there's another leaf there. Mum's gone past. Oh, she's noticed her, so she's turning in. So, Mum's babysitting, and she has now come down to meet us. I'm not sure she's seen us. Yeah, she's turning around. It's fun, isn't it? Your parking's rubbish. My parking's rubbish. I have tried to move it, but 
as most wives don't seem to understand when you got no power or anything it's very very difficult to actually park like a sensible human being sensible human being mm. is that what you sound like yeah here comes the leaf here comes the other leaf to rescue us there she is uh, bye yeah you can't i think they do adapt at some point Right, it's five to midnight and I'm going to call the 24 hour emergency helpline. See how this call goes. Could be helpful, might not be helpful. Right, just got off the phone with them. They could arrive within 75 minutes, odd time, but 75 minutes. Or I could have booked it for tomorrow morning. So I've booked it for tomorrow morning, so I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm only half a mile away from home. Um, so I'm going to, and there's an hour slot, so I'm going to be there at 8.30 and they could be there between any time between 8.30 and 9.30. There is no mobile phone signal there, nor at home is there a mobile phone signal. So I'm going to sit in the car and just wait. And they should turn up. When you ring them, you get through to the RAC call centre, because that's who deals with Nissan's roadside assistance. So there you go. There you go, look. I'm going to bed now. You're going to bed. It is time. gone midnight. Uh, Night, everyone. <laughs> okay, I got a phone call this morning on my landline saying I'm a bit early. Is it okay if I come early? Which is all good by me. And they're actually coming by to pick me up from my house and take me back to the car. So, thumbs up for the RAC. Um, should be here any minute. Now, according to the manual, <clears throat> now he's never towed uh, a Leaf before, electric car, not surprisingly. But according to the manual, the front has to be lifted. Do not tow it. Um, so that's what they're going to do. They're going to lift up the two front wheels, bring me back home, and then obviously I'm going to have to get an extension lead out or something and get a bit of juice into it to be able to bring it back onto my drive to charge it up. But that will all unfold and we'll see what happens. But so far, top notch service. Morning, there we are. There she is. Parked up there, pumped out. Out of power. But we're going to lift it up, front up, put it on a dolly. And I'll film that in a second. Right, need to tow a night. So the question is, where is this? And it appears to be in this left hand side. I think it's in here. Is it in there? Oh, it is. Oh no, here it is. That's the boy. Cheers. So it's not in that bag. It is. No. Mm. Wish I'd seen how that would come out because. I can't rattle right like good enough. But anyway, it fits in there somehow. That's the wheel brace, as you'd probably call it. And the eye was down in there. And there's the pump for doing up the tyre. And so what we have at the moment is a bit of towing dolly and winch it on. Girl on. Focus. Clever little device. Right, an outdoor charging extension cable <laughs> and there it is she's home just so it's gonna be dumped there we can't get it up into the drive so hopefully that will reach So, naughty naughty, cable across the road, let's, I'm just going to see if I've got enough in it to actually start it up. Let's have a little look, 
what have we got? Nah, so it's not enough in it yet. That's annoying. Right, I've got to wait a bit longer. It's 926. That's a real shame. But what I shall try and do. No, a little battery charge, so let me put it to park. Right, what we shall see is if we can get the real state of charge. Because <sighs> it's only at 90%. Um, and it won't move at its current charge. But that whole process was actually very, very smooth. And I spent the last 20, 30 minutes chanting about electric cars. And he's very, very interested. Um, top bloke, thank you very much if you do watch this. It was great that you picked me up. And... Great that you return me home. Uh, and it's good that you came early. Because it's at the moment it's only 9.29. So let's have a look anyway. See what it says the percentage is. Oh, 0%. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> right, well, there you go. Let's, uh, I'll leave it on. Time for a cup of tea and a, a little lie down for another half an hour. Right, we're nine o'clock, uh, no, 10 o'clock coming up. And I'm gonna see if I can actually move this vehicle. It says it's got four miles on a little counter. So let's try it, shall we? Hey, how you doing, all right? All right. Let's have a look what we got now. Oh, we got a gear, boys. We have got a gear. Right. Low battery charge. Yeah, we know that. Oh, handbrake's on. Yeah, we got drive. How cool is that? Look at this. So it says 0% on the thing on the computer. It says 0%, but it says four miles available. Which I don't believe for a second. But there's no turtle on. But we're back in my drive now, which is all good. So I shall wrap up all this cable that's on the floor and put them on charge. So straightforward, really. Don't really need to film this bit, but this is going to charge quicker now, of course. There we go. Thank goodness for that. Oh, don't forget. It's on schedule. So, if on schedule, turn that off. There we go. Lovely. So, I would say if Nissan tries to sell you one of these Nissan Leafs without a brick charger, think again before you buy and uh, cite this example where you can't get back onto your drive and there's no way they can get you back onto the drive. Um, you need to run extension lead down and the only thing you can plug into an extension lead, which you shouldn't even be doing in the first place, but the only thing you can do in emergency is plug in the brick charger, which is essentially an emergency charger as it is. Um, you need one. If I had a cable, just a cable, I wouldn't be able to do this. I'd have to somehow, I suppose I'd have to get a group of blokes to come and help me push it into the drive, up the drive. Wouldn't be very good, would it really? And I haven't got a group of blokes to help me do that, so get a brick charger. Okay, I've just checked and it appears as though we've got about 10%, 10% a quarter of the car and it is 10.15. So it's been on, it's been on really slow charge for about 45 minutes. Um, it's had about 15 minutes of charging on the house. So it gives 10%, there you go. So it's enough to call to the gas meter to do nine miles. So you wouldn't have to wait very long to get enough charge usually to travel home unless you're going to be miles away of course but yesterday you know if I'd have plugged in someone's house I'd have had to wait 20-30 minutes at the most so uh, to get me home. Bye.